Thanks, everybody. It's not a lot different. We can do 11 on 11. So as you see, we get more plays going against each other. And, and really the basics, communication, alignment, urgency, um, not making the same mistake twice. So it's good. You sit in the classroom and you go through all this stuff and you think you got it. Then you get there on the field. You got to process it in real time. It's a little bit different. Again, this isn't training camp. This is the regular season. But it is good to start to get that chemistry and camaraderie together. And then we do the seven on seven live, you know, so guys get more reps actually throw against the defense and try to cover these receivers. And so um, I think it's good work for us. It doesn't change how I evaluate his reps. I'm evaluating all the guys, you know, and so I think it's good just for the team to get out here and get reps together. You know, this is about being able to start training camp the right way. So putting ourselves in a position from a mental and physical standpoint, let's get in great shape. Uh, let's understand the expectations. Mentally prepare ourselves with the scheme. We get some reps in it. We get the install done a couple times. So when we show up in late July for training camp, that these guys have the best shot to go compete and earn a roster spot. What were your expectations for Joe coming into this offseason for you? And how do you think well, unknown. You know, it's it, until you've seen him throw, it's hard to say this is what we expect. Um, so obviously there's a lot of conversation with him, just making sure we're, we're not overdoing anything. He's always uh, been a great communicator. Our training staff does a great job with Matt Summers and Nick Cosgrave and all those guys. So um, I feel like it, it's, it's been a really good offseason for Joe. So the naked eye is back. It looks like Joe's throwing the ball well. So you're a well-trained eye. How does he look? I, I feel really good about where he's at, you know. And, and um, so again, I didn't set the bar for expectations. Um, He's been accurate. He's been on time. He's thrown with great velocity and power. Uh, you'd have to ask him what he thinks of his performance exactly, but uh, I like what I see right now. Do you notice a difference in him trying to pace himself more this offseason? No, no. I've seen him. He puts in the work. He puts in the work behind the scenes that people don't see, getting ready for practice with the trainers. And um, so, again, he does a really good job preparing himself for practice. Yeah. I, I think you've every off season. Again, we haven't had extensive off seasons, so there wasn't a lot to evaluate this last couple of years. But um, it's my time to spend more time with the defense and let the offensive coordinator call the reps during practice and talk to the quarterback. And it, it's good for me again to to get to know the defense players better, sit in those meetings, not devote all the time and energy in the offense, and take more of a head coaching role. And so that that's always exciting for me. I always learn a lot being over there with the defense. I always like being around those guys more and then kind of sitting back and observing the offense. But still in all the meetings, still got my own ideas and expectations. And uh, we do all that as we meet as coaches. But out here on the field, get a chance to, to be more of the head coach and spend more time with the defense. Which was your take on oh, that? No, I, I think that they'll get the work in at the necessary time. And, and please, you know, we have a high turnout for voluntary workouts. I, I'm really, I told the guys, I, I understand it's voluntary. I appreciate them showing up. The guys that don't are still working hard elsewhere. And, and they'll be back at the right times. And so, um, and, and the beauty is we know those guys, we know what they're about, and that they'll be ready and focused when it's time to come back. What, what, what are your first impressions of the uh, new kickoff? Uh, It'll be interesting. You know, there, there's, there's a lot to work through. Um, Darren and Ben have done a great job evaluating all the all the opportunities it could bring. Um, you know, there's certainly going to be a, a feeling out process when we get to training camp and we're doing it live, and there's some unknowns with it. But um, I trust Darren's Darren's put in the work as much as you could possibly imagine to make sure that we're prepared to give ourselves an advantage uh, when the season takes shape. Just from just just from the naked eye view, just looking at it from a head coach. I mean, it looks like it's going to be an impact. You're just going to you're going to at least have more flat out returns. Right? Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, you're certainly going to have more returns. You have to. Um, it'll be interesting. You know, it'll, I think it'll be a fun element to see how it plays out. Both of us, you know, we, we touch base. I, I don't call those guys every day. I'm not trying to wear them out. Um, but again, they, they do an excellent job when I reach out quickly getting back to me. 
making sure we're in communication, making sure we, we, we know where everybody's at on the process. And um, everything has been really positive with all those guys that aren't here. How is the running back room shaping up this offseason, the first one post Joe Mixon? I, I think it's going to be a good room to watch in training camp. You know, I'm excited to have Zach Moss. I'm excited to see Chase Brown continue to have a bigger role. Um, Travion and Chris, and then we got some new guys in the mix as well. So uh, I, I think training camp will be, be fun to really evaluate those guys. How important is this for rookies and first year players? Just get assimilated into your program and actually being on the field? It, it's a chance uh, for everybody to start fresh in training camp. And so, again, for the rookies, there's going to be some things that are new to them, unknown to them. This is a chance to take it all in. We're not going 11 on 11, full speed, where everything's dissected. So you really get a chance, I think, to do it uh, the way that we feel is best to give those guys every opportunity to go compete and let their talent show once training camp rolls around. I think change is exciting. It, it, it makes you a little bit uncomfortable and forces you to do new things and, and look at things a different way. And I think that's what's been great about Dan Fitcher. Um, he's got his own ideas and, and ways that it can take shape. He's excited. There's a bunch of energy there. And so it's been fun watching him with the position battles you're mentioning. It's always good to see guys uh, you haven't got to see play the role. Chase was a rookie last year. So now you get to see him in year two. He knows the expectations. Zach's been with two other really good teams. And so it's been good to get him in the mix. So I, I'm really excited. Again, to keep watching these guys in the spring, but training camp is, is going to be fun for us. Back to the running backs, do you feel like the Jackson State got complimented in the skill set? I do, yeah. I think, I, I think they, um, they're really strong in a lot of different areas um, and similar areas. There, there's a lot of crossover there, but I'm excited about the mix that we have in the running back room and what we've done in the offseason to bring Zach in the fold, and, and uh, I, I think we're in a good spot there. versus 12 personnel, has it still been pretty similar? I think we evolve every single year, and we'll evolve with our personnel and, and the skill sets that we have as a unit that can really put pressure on the defense. And um, whether that's putting more tight ends on the field or less tight ends on the field, um, you know, we'll continue to evaluate that over the entire offseason training camp. It can depend on how we utilize it. We can depend on how the defense reacts. Are they going to play base to 12? Are they going to play nickel to 12? And so um, there's a lot of things that you got to see as a game plays out and, and how a team's going to view your two tight ends on the field. And those are things that we evaluate every single week when we're playing an opponent. With T and Jamar, obviously they know this offense. They've been yeah. for a long time. But with, with Sheldon, with Trent, guys that are new here, is that a hurdle for them to not be here at this time? And that head start. I, I think there will be plenty of time when they're here where they get a chance to, to make sure that they're familiar with it. Um, they have the information, so I know that they're staying on top of it. And when they get here and are able to get those reps, I, I know that those two guys are vets and they'll be in a real good spot. All right, thank you all. Thank you,